Hi, I'm Dylan Goodwin with Croquet Network. Today I'm going to take a look at the Longworth um, six-player croquet set from Garden Games. I've got it right here with me. So uh, let's take a look at what we got in the bag. It's a six-player set, but it's a six-wicket set, so it only has six wickets, but has six balls and six mallets. Comes in a good bag. Here's one of the mallets, and um, looks pretty solid. It's got a nice shaft, wooden inlay in here. It's pretty good weight. These are called um, challenge hoops, and uh, pretty sturdy. They're an upgrade from the uh, winter wickets that I've gotten at Oakley Woods before. So I'll show you a comparison to that here in a minute. Six wickets, got the red marker, red mark wicket uh, for Rover, and the blue one for the starting wicket. The balls are full size, but they're not full weight. They're 12 ounce balls, but um, that works pretty good for long grass. Um, you can see the size. The wickets are a little wide obviously for backyard play, but um, full size, lighter ball, so it runs a little faster, a little more live on long grass. Here's an interesting touch that comes with this set, um, corner flags. So I got all four of them, all four of the colors. I know that keep players like that in the U.S. play. Um, sets, six worth set, it's 160 pounds, um, and American dollars is about $250. Um, but there's your set of four flags. What else we got? Set of clicks, six ball set, so it's got all the, the, uh, the two extra colors, the orange or brown and the green for the clips, the plastic clips. Um, I said this is a six, six player set, so it's got six mallets, but it's a six wicket set. 160 pounds, $250. There's also a, a four player set that is four mallets, um, four balls that Garden Games offers that's, I believe, 140 pounds and um, that makes it about 220 US dollars. I don't know of any distributors here in the United States, so you're gonna have some money in shipping if you're uh, going across the sea. Got a nice white winning peg. Got him. Hoop driving mallet, wooden. Not sure how much damage that'll do to the wickets when we pound it in, but we'll give it a try here in a bit. Got some markers um, for the uh, bulk lines. Uh, I see four. I wonder if we get the full eight. I see five, six. Bet they're all in there. But that's kind of a nice little touch for uh, association players playing in the backyard. And I think that's it. All right, as I said, we would compare the, the wickets a little bit. Here's the uh, Oakley Woods um, winter wickets um, that you get at crystalkstore.com. So this is um, the wicket that came with the long worth, worth set, and it's um, they're generally called challenger wick, challenge wickets. So you can see, hopefully, they're a little narrower, a little tighter, a little thicker, sturdier, so going to be a lot more fun in the backyard. Compare that a bit to a true wicket. This one's a little beat up, but that's see the, uh, you know, a real wicket, it's a little bit smaller, obviously a little bit more sturdy, but that's how it compares out, pretty good for the, the price. We'll also take a look here at um, the balls, got a real, this is a sunshiny ball, and then this compares to that, so you can see they're the same size, but obviously the sunshiny is, is heavier. Um, these have an interesting groove, they look kind of like bocce balls. We'll get out a few more of these so you can see the colors. Blue. Uh, and red. So, again, like I said before, they're lighter, so on long grass they'll be a little bit more live than a heavy ball. 
We'll also take a look um, here at the, the mallets. Um, this is a 36 inch mallet. My standard mallet. Actually, I, I play with the longer shaft. This is my backup. Um, but you can see that this is a pretty good long shaft that I got here and pretty sturdy. You know, it's the uh, um, round head instead, but I will say that uh, it's um, got a pretty good amount of weight, probably as much weight as the Oakley Woods mallet there. So the length is kind of nice and um, the shaft seems a little light, but not too bad. Um, we'll get some stuff set up here and uh, hit some balls around and uh, see what we think. Okay, we're just setting up, finishing setting up here. I'm going to drive in this last uh, hoop. Uh, I set the court 80 by 64. Might be a little long. My groundskeeper hasn't mowed much yet this year. So um, anyway, show you what we got going on here. It rained this morning, so hoops are driving in pretty easy. The one um, disappointment here is the hoop mallet didn't hold up so great. But really hadn't been a problem with this ground, so. Now we're going to get out and get some balls going and uh, play a little bit of croquet and then we'll tell you how we feel about the set. Okay, just kind of a, a little bit of what the setup looks like. See the nice corner flags. There's Elizabeth on the court. But we uh, set up a little bit too big probably today for the speed of the grass. But um, hopefully that gives you a view of the setup there. All right, we got Elizabeth Goodwin here. She's gonna show us the action of the balls here. She's uh, using different mallet because uh, it's got a shorter handle. The other long handles on the other mallets. So here she goes. Oh, that's a miss. We do have long grass here today. And the balls have been jumping a little bit. It's been dry here. We're in Kansas City, just south of Kansas City in Stillwell, Kansas. You can get that through. Nice shot. All right, I'm going to show you some of the action. I got one of the, the standard long work mallets here and um, the regular balls. I'm going to try to do a little break here. I guess I'm on uh, wicket four, so it's like I'm going into the turn here. Split works out here. Got a little bit of leeway on this court. Mm. Didn't get much out of that. Mm. Okay. And that's uh. That's how it plays. They're pretty live, um, but the grass is a little slow here today. It's a little, definitely a little too long to really tell, but I did not get much at all out of that, that longer split. All right, we've uh, had some play. Elizabeth and I played a little golf croquet. She beat me four to one. So um, got a little look at the set. I, I guess I would say I really like the set as a, as a good um, you know backyard starter set. Um, I think the mallets are, are, are the key. they are uh, got some decent weight to them, um, a nice shaft and a good grip, and I, I like the extra long length. Um, they compare uh, to the, uh, the old Forster set that I, I have in the garage uh, pretty well. Um, the balls do all right. I mean, they're the right width, so they're nice for a starter set. Um, they did jump around a little bit, but they're live if you can keep them on the ground um, as far as rush shots go. But um, again, they're the same size as that. Um, overall, for you know a $250 set, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think the best the best aspect of it is um, I like the challenge hoops. I think they're perfect for long grass and for the backyard and getting started in croquet. And I think the the hoops and the mallets alone are worth it. The little extras are nice, the clips, um, the flags, and the uh, ball climb markers. So um, should be some more information on the website croquetnetwork.com about where you can find this set. And um, thanks for watching the review.